Hello, Mount Holyoke Psychology 201 students. Welcome to your pre-work tutorial on regression. This is your lab instructor, Natasha. Let's pretend that Odyssey Bookstore has hired us to help them um, because they want to order a stock of brand new Mount Holyoke College statistics sweatshirts. And given that they know that they need to charge $45 per sweatshirt to make a profit, they want our help predicting how many sweatshirts they might sell at this price. So they've given us data from the past year telling us how much they have charged for various sweatshirts and how many they have sold. Can we predict how many sweatshirts they will sell based on prices they have charged in the past? The first thing we might want to do is to create a scatter plot. So to do that, just like we have when we did um, scatter plots with correlation, we're going to go to graphs, legacy dialogues, and over to scatter dots. Already highlighted is the simple scatter, so that's what we want. We'll just click define. As you can see in this data set, the small data set, um, it's showing us the different prices of 10 different sweatshirts they've sold in the past year and how many of each they've sold. So remember when you're doing a scatter plot with regression, this time it does matter which variable which go goes on which axis. So you want to make sure to put the presumed outcome or the dependent variable on the y-axis. In this case, the number of sales is going to go on the y-axis, and price is going to go on the x-axis. If we click the titles button, we can put something, a title in here, something like um, sales based on price of MHC sweatshirts at Odyssey, something like that. Then we hit continue and OK. Here comes our output window, and this shows us our scatter plot. Again, the presumed outcome variable is on the y-axis, sales, and the price is here on the x-axis. This is showing a moderately strong negative correlation. That is, as price increases, sales decrease, and vice versa. As price decreases, sales increase. So another thing we should do, besides working with a scatter plot, is to actually go ahead and run a regression. So to do that, we're going to go to Analyze, down to Regression, and over to Linear. In this case, the dependent variable, again, is Sales. So we're going to move that here to the dependent box. We'll move Price to the independent variables box. That's all we have to do at this point. We can hit OK now. And here comes our output. The model summary table gives us our R value, and again, um, the R square value. Now remember what from lecture what the R square is. The R square predicts the variance in one variable based on another variable. So in this case, the 0.752 can be interpreted as 75.2% of the variance in sales can be explained by the price. That's a pretty large amount. Um, and also in this table, the ANOVA table, we have um, the P value, which is 0 0.001, and so we can see that that is a significant um, value. Okay, so what can we do with the ANOVA table that will help us with that initial question about um, how many sweatshirts Odyssey should buy if they're going to charge $45 for these sweatshirts? So what we can do, um, I cut and pasted this ANOVA table over here. And I'll show you where to plug the various values into the regression equation, because we know the regression equation is y prime equals bx plus a. To find the b value, you're going to look under the b column, and you go down to the row that says price. You'll plug that value, minus 1.308, in for b. Um, 45 is x, because that's the number, or that's the price that Odyssey wants to sell the sweatshirts for. And the a value, you're going to plug in the constant, the 83.624. When you do this calculation, it comes out to 24.764. So to be safe, Odyssey would want to order at least 25 sweatshirts if they don't want to have too few or too many left over. Okay, the other thing to think about, though, is that this model doesn't take into account how awesome Mount Holyoke statistics students are and their pride in being statistics superstars. So Odyssey might want us to consider having us run a multiple linear regression, including the amount of stats pride as an independent variable along with um, the price. Um, that model might better be able to predict sales. 
um, because we wouldn't want the bookstore to be full of sad statistics students who missed their chance to wear these awesome sweatshirts because they sold out so quickly, right? So that's just an example of how to use SPSS to um, run a regression, to find your R square value, and also how to look at a scatter plot, remembering that the uh, outcome variable is going to be on the y axis. So until next time, don't be mean, be above average.